Hi everybody, today I'm reviewing the Beatles Beatles for Sale album. Yeah, the melancholical album. <laughs> so the Beatles for Sale was the Beatles fourth album and it came out on December 1964 and sound uh, and sure, I mean, sure it sounds melancholical compared to A Hard Day's Night, which was a happy record and it may sound like a step back uh, with this album because on the on the on the hardest night album you know the Beatles wrote all the songs and with this album it's like a step back the Beatles are back to the please please me and with the Beatles kind of formula you know uh, with the eight original songs and six covers but we must understand here that things were became totally crazy in 1964 it was the Beatle mania and the Beatles didn't have a, a lot of time I mean <laughs> it was really hard for them to write uh, to have the time to to write new songs and I think it sounds probably more serious more uh, mature than A Hard Day's Night uh, of course it's not as good A Hard Day's Night is a better album and this was the last album without any George song because uh, after that from hell to let it be George always had one two or three songs and the musical influences here go f go from uh, rock country uh, pop walls uh, folk and you know the Bob Dylan influence started here with songs like uh, I'm a Loser and like the Hard Day's Night album we have pretty good vocal harmonies here pretty good back vocals so let's take a look at all the songs we have uh, 14 songs here and let's take a look at those songs one by one okay the album starts with no reply which is a pretty good song I love the chorus progression uh, really like the lyrics and of course the vocal harmonies and it's a 10 out of 10 next song is I'm a loser I was talking about the Bob Dylan influence we can feel this influence here uh, I like the acoustic guitar, vocal harmonies, and of course the harmonica, and the lyrics, everything about it, and it's a 10 out of 10. Next song is Babies in Black. Not my favorite, not my least favorite, probably in the middle. Uh, I like the melody, and the vocals are pretty nice, but I would probably give it uh, 8.5 out of 10 okay next song uh, this one is a cover and it's rock and roll music and this is a pretty catchy song and John did a pretty good vocal performance here uh, it's not perfect but it's pretty nice and I would give it an 8.7 out of 10 okay next song is I'll follow the sun pretty nice song by Paul I love the acoustic guitar the chords the progression uh, the melody and I would give it a 9.1 probably out of 10 okay next song is Mr. Moonlight one of my least favorites on the album I'm not crazy about the organ you know I'm not crazy about the organ melody but John did a great vocal performance uh, maybe I would give it a 7 out of 10 not more and I think I'm generous next song is Kansas City hey hey hey, hey. this is another cover and um, the song is catchy uh, but like Mr. Moonlight uh, this is one of my least favorites and I would give it uh, like Mr. Moonlight I would give it uh, 7 out of 10 next is 8 days a week lyrically this song is pretty simple but I love the guitar 
intro, you know, and, and that part when John and Paul uh, do the vocal harmonies. Hey, days a week, I love you. This is probably my favorite part, and I would give it a 9.2, probably, out of 10. Okay, next is Words of Love. Another cover, uh, Buddy Holly wrote uh, that song, and it's a good version. Uh, not my favorite song on the album, but it's a good version. The uh, vocal harmonies are pretty nice. I would give it probably an 8.5 out of 10. Okay, next is Honey Don't, another cover. <laughs> and the song is catchy. I love, <clears throat> I love, I really like the guitar. And I think Ringo sings it pretty well. Uh, I would give it probably an 8.7 out of 10. Okay, next is Every Little Thing. Lyrically, the song is pretty simple, but uh, I think it's a pretty nice melody, and I really like that kind of boom boom that we can hear <laughs> in the song. Uh, I think I would give it a 9.2 or 9.3 out of 10. Okay, next is I Don't Want to Spoil the Party. I love that song, I love everything, the lyrics. Uh, the melody, the vocal, harmonies, wow, and it's a 10 out of 10. Next is What You're Doing. Like every little thing, uh, this song is pretty simple, lyrically, but I love, I re really love the guitar melody. And it's a 10 out of 10. I love that song. And finally, the last song, uh, which is not a cover, Everybody's Trying to Be My Baby. Uh, pretty pretty catchy song and what I love best about that song I think is the the effect for the vocals I don't know if it's uh, an overdub effect or uh, an echo effect but I really like it uh, it's not perfect but I would give it an 8.7 out of 10 so for the whole album uh, this is not their most memorable but I think it's pretty decent. I would give it an 8.5 out of, out of 10. So that was it for my review. I hope you enjoyed. And as usually, you can leave your comments and you can thumbs up this video if you wish. So thanks for watching and see you for my next video.